Good morning. It's uh, nice and early here in Nashville. I often like to get some overdubs done before I leave for the day. I feel like I'm getting things off my plate. Uh, I hate having a pile of work that people are waiting on me to get back to them. And anytime I can tackle it, um, I'm going to jump on that opportunity. So today uh, I've got a song that I told this producer I'd finish last night and I completely ran out of gas. Um, just creatively and energy wise. And I just felt I'm going to deliver a better product if I tackle this in the morning. So um, I did a bunch of acoustics. Um, there's stacks and stacks of, of guitars strumming. I've got um, a regular six string strumming in two different positions. I've got a high string, which is uh, something that's fairly popular here in Nashville. It's the upper octave pair of a 12 string. So it's a 12 string without the regular pitch strings, I guess is a better way to say it. So your um, E, A, D, and G strings are all an octave up, and then your B and E strings are, are the same pitch. So you get some really interesting jumps between octaves if you're just kind of arpeggiating back and forth. Um, but it's also a way to play an identical strumming pattern to a regular acoustic and get a 12 string vibe out of it, but you can also pan them. So you can kind of do this stereo 12 string, you know, I think it's cool. Anyway, uh, I did a bunch of that stuff and then um, I played some electric parts. Uh, there's, there's kind of, the song's kind of a beachy fun vibe. The reference was female Sam Hunt meets Sheryl Crow. <laughs> so, I think for me that means that my stuff's going to lean a little bit organic. Um, Cheryl Crow, you know the the stuff that you know, like Tuesday music night Tuesday night music club or what that record. It's very Americana in terms of the instrumentation. It's it's a it's a band with jangly guitars and pedal steel and um, so I think I think I'm supposed to stay a little organic uh, as far as tones go, but. The Sam Hunt reference makes me think that everything needs to be kind of hooky, you know. I can't just um, play play a diamonds, just mark the changes. I got to come up with a cool part. So, um, a lot of times I'm I'm looking for something that's going to tie everything together, and I think I found it for the electric. Uh, I've got my CE1 on, the best chorus pedal of all time. And uh, I've got a long cathedral reverb from my Maris Mercury 7. So that's my, that's my tone for this part. And uh, I've got the vocal down so you can really hear the, hear the, the guitars and everything. Um, this isn't anywhere near in its finished form. It's unmixed. It's, you know, I think the drums are... Uh, not final. I think this is programmed, but the producer also sent it to a drummer. So that's an interesting thing. We're all working from the same rough instead of playing to each other. You might think that's counterproductive, but on songs that are that are really programmed and laid out, it kind of uh, it kind of doesn't matter. Like the producer can get all of us to do it in the same couple days, you know. So I'm gonna play the second chorus. And um, I've got this part that I think, I think pretty well ties it together. Uh, I'm always looking for some kind of hook that brings everything together. You'll hear some dobro in here. That's not real dobro. That's me. Uh, I don't play dobro, but I do play resonator, um, which is like a dobro but has a round neck. And I play slide. So I play slide on a on a resonator acoustic and. I can really fake the dobro thing pretty well, especially if I retune the guitar to more of a dobro tuning, which, like most open tunings, is is an open chord when you strike all six strings. So um, here comes this part. I think it's cool. It's got a vibe. Uh, 
I might send it off to him and he might say, uh, the chorus is weird. It makes me think of big teased hair and 80s bands or something. That's fine. I think it's really cool. Um, and obviously he trusts me to some extent because he hired me and uh, isn't here to produce me. So um, often we'll just we'll just chat, you know, he'll, he'll call and, and tell me tell me what he wants, like the, the Sam Hunt and Cheryl Crow reference, um, the organic hooky kind of stuff, you know? So I think I know what we're aiming at. And if this doesn't quite nail it, then he'll get back to me and, and say, hey, could you change something? And that's totally cool. We're on the hunt for the right parts together. So, all right, let's check this out. Help if I record enabled a track. solo there and I think this part's so melodic um, I don't want it to distract from the solo I, I think it's cool to have it behind in the chorus but maybe it's a maybe it's a scene change for the solo and it's not there so we'll see um, and I'm gonna put it in the third chorus and there's an up outro actually the outro has two sections there's four bars where it's up and the whole band is in um, which again you're not hearing because this tracks not finished and then there's four bars of it being kind of broken down and, and sort of like the intro vibe, which you didn't hear, but it's it's it goes down to acoustic based. And again, I'm gonna lay out of this part in that down outro because I have a dobro hook that I really like, and I'm gonna leave that alone. I don't want this to conflict with that. So here comes chorus three and the up outro, and I'll keep it rolling so you can hear the, the dobro thing as well. <laughs> Dobro hook. Uh, I think that's really cool. And then the chorus tag vocally was happening in big, big backgrounds that are kind of washed out. So um, I think I'm good on this track. I need to get ready and head to the studio. I've got uh, sessions today that I need to get to. So I just like to finish things up and get things out of the way in the morning. My kids are all up super early. So and then they go to school um, really early as well. And the session schedule here in town is a later start than you would expect. Well, you might expect it because musicians are typically night owls, but um, most morning sessions start at 10 o'clock. Uh, we run on a 10, 2, and 6 schedule. So you work for three hours and you have an hour break. So um, if you get called for a 10, it's assumed that that's 10 to one. Uh, if you get called for a two, it's assumed that's two to five, and a six is 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. So if you have a triple, you've got three three-hour sessions with two one-hour breaks. And 
you know, between 1 and 2 p.m., everybody eats lunch. And I, I don't know how we got on this schedule in particular. Maybe it's a compromise to keep people from working super late, but I'm never hungry for dinner in three hours. Like, if I eat between 1 and 2 and then take another break at 5, I, I don't want to go eat another full meal. <laughs> so often, uh, a lot of us are kind of on the same page here. If we get booked for a triple, um, we'll talk in the morning. We're like, hey, what if we work through dinner and go home at 8? So uh, that would mean that you skip the break from 5 to 6 p.m. and you work 2 to 5 and 5 to 8 and you take your hour break at the end. Well, that just gets you home earlier, right? And you don't have an hour to do nothing. Often we'll take like 15 minutes and then jump, jump right back in. Uh, I think that makes a lot more sense. Everybody's usually on that page. A lot of us have young kids. If I'm done at eight, I can get home and, you know, wrestle with my kids, tuck them into bed, whatever. Uh, if I get done at nine, they're, they're in bed and asleep by then. So, um, anyway, I got a jet. I got to, I got to finish getting ready and load up and go to, go to the studio. All right. See y'all. Hey, we're back. Um, right away because I forgot to play a solo. <laughs> so, uh, again, thinking about the reference, Sam Hunt meets Cheryl Crow, female vocal, staying fairly organic. I feel like this is less of a look at me, look at me solo and more of a part that you can sing. So the chords underneath it are... Um, G to A, D to B minor. That's a four to five, one, six minor. So uh, I got to come up with something cool and singable, but that's all. That also has the energy of a guitar solo and, and kind of has a party, party vibe to it. Like this is a a beach party. You know, I know you can't hear the vocal very well in this song, but um, that's kind of the, the vibe that we're going for. So let's, let's see what happens. My only headspace going into this is don't shred and play something singable. <laughs> so let's see what happens. <laughs> quite execute that very well I don't think uh, let's try another I'll playlist that I've got playlists in Pro Tools here comes another one <laughs> phrases in that have a rest because <clears throat> hooky to me means you can sing and singing requires breathing <laughs> so I didn't love that one I it just it feels very stock but the progression and the feel this sort of boom 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 it's just it's it's a uh, it's not super stock I guess but it, it's I've seen it enough that everything that I'm doing over it feels like, eh, it's just old hat. So maybe, maybe it's a slide. Let me try that. Let's see what happens here. <laughs> better. 
that's singable. If you can sing really high. <laughs> One more. <laughs> are just hard on slide. <laughs> Trying to hit all those in in perfect intonation. That might work. Should I punch on that? I'm just going to do another whole one, see what happens. send that one to the producer and we'll listen. Crossfade. I like that one. It's uh, kind of adds to the easy, breezy, beachy vibe. I do have a reggae guitar part, and he did say that it was kind of leaning beach party. How's that for a uh, collection of references. Organic Sam Hunt meets Cheryl Crow, female vocal, party, beachy. Pull all that together and that's that's what we're going for <laughs> in this track. So I might try one more just real simple good feeling slide thing here on the solo. You can probably hear my laptop fan going uh, hopefully that's not too loud. track um, so maybe it kind of ties things together I might try one more that incorporates some open string stuff <laughs> 
slide, sliding um, down to an open string, pulling off to an open string. <laughs> solo is that melody on electric with more energy and then our down outro is revisiting that melody sometimes these things happen in reverse so let me try that well let's try it without just the dobro track solo <laughs> slide is just hard <laughs> sometimes it's hard to get it to speak if you have just a little too much pressure on the slide you can you can fret it out and, and you know get bad sound bad sounds coming around um, I want to listen to this <laughs> Here's, here's the middle of the up outro. That's cool. I think that's cool that, that it comes back around and, and is the dobro in the down part of the outro. So I'm definitely going to send him that one. Um, I want to go back through my playlist, see if there's any others that I want to send here. Yeah, I love that. 
two. Okay, I just looked at the time. I really gotta go. See y'all later.